Error. Failed to load DLL from the list. Error code 126 or 127. So yes, you may be getting this error when you're trying to download something on Windows 10 or Windows 11. This error has been coming up a lot on a lot of people's programs that they're trying to download. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. It's fairly easy to be honest with you. So what I want you to do is first deactivate your antivirus regardless of what antivirus you have. And it's pretty much the same method for every way. Regardless if you have AVG, Avast, um, Norton, whatever. So what you want to do on the very bottom of your computer here, it's going to have the time here. You're going to see this little up cone error or up cone directional thing. You're going to click on it. It's going to pop up this box that show all your icons. And you should be able to see the icon for your antivirus. The only thing you have to do is right click on the, the uh, antivirus and then just disable it. You might have to double click it, but whichever method, whatever it takes, disable it temporary and then try to do your program. Now, as far as the program itself, if you're able to install it or whatever, what I want you to do is uninstall it and then reinstall it. So to do that, just type in programs on the very bottom left of Windows 10 or 11. You just type in program and then click add or remove program. And then when it brings all your files up, just sort by install date click it and then uninstall that pr specific program and then go in and reinstall it and then after you reinstall it see if it will work now after you've done that what I want you to do and it doesn't work I want you to install filmware, firmware driver update so make sure you're online that you're connected either by LAN or the internet Wi-Fi and so what you want to do is type in device manager here in the search and then click on device manager it's going to take you to all your drivers. What I want you to do is locate firmware, left click to do the to the, do the down thing here, and where it says system firmware, I want you to right click, and then left click update driver. But again, make sure you're online. That may take a few minutes. Restart your computer, and then tell me if you're able to uh, get rid of that error when you download the program. Okay. Next, after you've done that, what I want you to do is you want to do a, a, a full system check to, to scan for any errors and to do that you want to go into command prompt so to do that you're going to type in CMD cat Mike David CMD into the search again and then you want to right click command prompt and run as administrator and then after you do that you get this little black screen I want you to type the following after the blinking cursor type in SFC space forward slash SCANNOW. So basically, SFC space, make sure you put a space there, forward slash scan now. And then hit enter, that'll do a full scan. And hopefully that should fix the problem, restart, and then see if you're able to get in. Last but not least, what you can do is update Microsoft Net Framework. And you can go directly into to Microsoft website and download it. What I do is I just Google uh, update Microsoft Net Framework into Google. But make sure you go to the right website. And the way you know it's Microsoft is it'll say Microsoft.com forward slash whatever. And then that should take you to this page. You might have to do it from Microsoft Edge because they're kind of Microsoft's kind of picky if you try to use Chrome or something. And then just do the new updated framework. All right. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like and the comment. Put in the comment which method worked for you. All right, thanks again.